Good morning and welcome to a special meeting of Hardin County Commissioners Court. Today is Tuesday, August 27th. It is 9 a.m. All members of the court are present. Commissioner Kirkendall is joining us from uh, his home office. Good morning, Commissioner Kirkendall. At this time, if everyone will please rise for the invocation by Commissioner Young, this meeting is called to order. Lord, I want to thank you today for all of our many blessings. Be with all the families that are hurting today and give them peace and comfort. Be with our nation's leaders that they stay in your will, Lord. Be with us today as we conduct the business of the county. In your name, we pray, amen. Amen. And the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you, Commissioner. Item number three, consider authorization for the county judge to execute a local agreement between Hardin County, Jasper County, Jefferson County, and Orange County for the lease of premises located at 5550 East Texas Freeway in Beaumont, Texas to, uh, to be operated as a regional infusion center to combat COVID-19, <coughs> the COVID-19 pandemic in Hardin County and throughout Southeast Texas. So moved. A second. Sir. Yeah, motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Roberts. We have a copy of the interlocal agreement in our packets. Uh, the uh, county attorney has reviewed this, and uh, he uh, wanted to make sure, and, and Commissioner Kirkendall also wanted to make sure this morning that we would not be locked into a long-term lease for this property. It's a month-to-month -month lease, and it has a 10-day exit clause. So, uh, And we're also waiting for the state to approve that infusion center. If uh, for some reason it doesn't get approved, or we have all indications that it will be approved, but if it doesn't, then we do not have to enter into that lease agreement. <clears throat> uh, the uh, lease agreement is for 13000 a month for the uh, building, and then plus utilities, which are estimated at about 2000 a month. Security costs will be based on any actual charges for security, and as I understand right now, uh, Beaumont PD is going to cover that at no charge. Any other discussion regarding this item? Who, who's going to be in charge of staffing it? The state will staff it. Uh, Beaum I believe that uh, Beaumont Baptist Hospital is going to manage the staffing, but the state will provide the staffing and uh, some supplies, and then whatever is not provided by the state, Baptist Hospital has agreed to supply it. And this will uh, give the ability for Southeast Texas to have up to 150 patients a day go through the infusion process. And I think right now the, the uh, daily uh, rate for infusions is around 30 or 40, and they'll still continue doing that at the hospitals as needed, but we need more capacity. And this amount is split between all four counties? Yes, it'll be sp uh, split between all four counties, and uh, and it'll be pro rata, so whatever our, uh, or per capita. So whatever our population is, the same way that we did the uh, emergency operations center last year between the six counties, and we did that by population, we'll do the same thing here. So it won't matter how many Hardin County citizens go there, it'll be per our population. And on, on the people being infused, what's uh, is, a, is a pretty high percentage of their getting well from it or from what I understand it there's a there's a window to do that and as long as they get in there within that window then, then yes you have to fall under criteria right right uh, and I've had personal family members take it and it works but you have to fall under certain criteria and the hospitals are backed up because <clears throat> I know some that's trying to get in there now and it's, it's very hectic yeah, yeah I've, I've heard of three people that had to go to New Mexico to get into a hospital uh, because there's nothing between here and there. I know they sent a friend of ours on, on oxygen yesterday. Hmm. <clears throat> Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item four, discussion regarding previous approval of request to lease two 2021 Chevrolet Suburbans for the Hardin County Health Department, utilizing cooperative, cooperative purchasing agreement <clears throat> possibly approve adjustment to the total lease price from $87,557.40 to $91,900.50 to include interest. This is an item that we addressed previously, but the interest was not included. Is that right? Yes, sir. I just had the quote and I got it to the court first, and then when I got the finance paperwork, then we were approved. So this is really just to approve the difference in what we approved earlier and, and what the interest uh, yes, amount is. And so that total is $91,000. Nine hundred dollars and fifty cents total. Yes, sir. Is that being covered one hundred percent by grants through the health services department? I, that's my understanding. I believe so. Restore is that correct? That is correct. So I'm moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall, seconded by Commissioner.
Cooper, is that right? Young? All right. Any other discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item 5, present results of bid submitted and possibly award a successful bidder for overlaying approximately 370 feet on Marin Lane, located in Precinct 1. Ms. Seams? Bids were open on November 30th, 2020, which was open Friday, um, which was August the 13th at 2 p.m. when the purchasing department front office, myself and Stacy Eckert were present. Uh, we only had one bidder, it was CMM Construction for $10 a square <coughs> Commissioner Cooper, is that uh, uh, right? Yes, sir. I, I would move that we go with the uh, bid submitted by CMM. And the reason why it's so high is because of the, uh, the sharp footage of the uh, job. Second. And motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Young. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. We don't have an item on the agenda for any discussion, but does anybody have anything you want to say, members of the court? Any official that's present? So I want to make people aware that they are getting boosted. Yes, that was approved. Is that, uh, I think Sunday it was approved for people who have received their full range of uh, vaccine, if it's Moderna or Pfizer, and you've had your uh, second shot and it's been at least 28 days, and of course uh, there's certain criteria to meet there as well. And uh, if you want to get a third shot, which is called a booster shot, if you meet that criteria, you can do that through the health department or uh, almost every pharmacy in Hardin County that is uh, providing Pfizer or Moderna. Uh, we'll provide that booster shot as well. If you meet the uh, criteria, I think you've got to have uh, immune, yeah, immune immunodeficiency problems or uh, cancer patients or other underlying conditions to meet that criteria. Anything else? Move to adjourn. Second. Have a motion by Commissioner Cooper, seconded by Commissioner Young to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Commissioner Kirkendall, you have a great day.